Britney Spears is on a car rampage again. She recently got pulled over, and when she gets pulled over, this is a funny one. Uh, as the cop is walking up, she's like, "Hey, uh, I'm sorry. I was dr- I was going so fast. I had to tt." Is what she says. Tt. Strange. She had to pee. Yeah, but it's kind of funny. And then the cop's like, hey, I pulled you over just last month. (laughs) And he was like, yeah, and let me see your ID. And she didn't have her driver's license on her. She didn't have her insurance on her. She's driving a $150,000 car. She's rich. And the the cop then... Uh, well, he didn't say it in that in that video, but when I was looking through video, I looked for the body cam on the last time he pulled over, too. And he pulled her over two months before that. So she's been pulled over three times in, like, the last four months. And doesn't ever have her license on her. Oh. Yeah. I thought it Does was super funny. Does she even have a license? I don't know, based on what the cop was saying. And uh, he was like, I told you, you need to get your license. Now, this time, the reason he got pull- she got pulled over is because he says that she was driving over the double yellow line and was asking her, hey, what you, you know not to go over that double yellow line, right? And I, apparently the first two times she got pulled over, he let her off. But this time he ticketed her. So are we going to see a another rampage of Britney Spears? A CHP officer pulls over pop star Britney Spears not once but twice in the span of a month. One stop on September 10th, the next on October 6th, were both captured on the officer's body cam. Sorry, I had to TT. My house is right there. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, pass on the double yellows. You can't do that. I'm so sorry. Do you have your license? My security at my house has my passport okay. and my okay. license. Okay. I just flew from Mexico. Okay, you haven't gotten your license yet? I stopped you a few weeks ago and you're I'm supposed so to get sorry. your license. I'm sorry. Okay, um, do you know you can't pass on the double yellows? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, the reason for that is there's private driveways, so, um, so sorry. people are pulling in and out. Okay, um, do you have any, like, photo ID or anything with your name on it? I, I know who you are, but, um, okay. The officer then gave Spears a citation for passing on the double yellow line. Do you have any questions? Okay, uh, make sure everything's correct. And then here you go, um, you're free to go, just drive safely, okay? CHP officers are not required to wear body cams, but this officer had his own, and that made the video subject to a public records request. In the first traffic stop in September, the CHP officer gave Spears a warning for speeding instead of a ticket, but now says he's done giving her breaks. Spears' autobiography, The Woman in Me, went on sale last week and is currently ranked number two on Amazon's nonfiction bestsellers list. I hope not, because she just got out of her conservatorship. I know. That would look so bad. I know. And she just, like, what I'm wondering is her autobiography just came out too, and it is number two. So are we going to see a situation where when she's in the limelight or when she has like a lot of money coming in, does that spark some kind of confidence ego that's going to start causing problems? It, you know what I mean? mental health? Yeah. Yeah, I think she has pretty uh, severe mental health issues, unfortunately. And it could very well be, it is most likely from being a child star. Oh, and trauma. For sure. And uh, they can't have a normal life. They don't know what it's like to be without that spotlight on them. Um, it, it, you just can't have a grounding in reality. You yeah. cannot. It's impossible. I agree with you. And I, I, agree. I think a lot of those child stars from her generation, they didn't get parents that saw the importance in keeping them grounded in reality and having a normal life um the way that we've learned because of people like britney spears and Lindsay lohan and amanda Bynes, like we see that now we're like oh they can't just be these little celebrities their whole lives from the time they're like five well regardless whether she has a firm grounding in reality or she's losing it Hopefully, 
she gets it together. Yeah, I mean, I I agreed with her getting taken off her conservative ship or conservative ship yeah. or whatever because it did feel exploitative. Um, you know, there were a lot of there was a lot of like hypocrisy in saying she couldn't do this and be an adult in this way yet they'd be working her into the ground and taking all her money. Um, the money was the big thing for me. Yeah. 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 Because like, if you really care about somebody there, there shouldn't, it shouldn't be about the monetary gain. That shouldn't be there at all. No. Technically, if you're family and you have that person's be- best interest in mind, she should be able to keep all her money, all of it. And you're doing that because you care and love them, you know? Yeah. But that's not what we saw. And I'm just curious nope. if we're going to see a bald Britney soon. <laughs> just a little bit older? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh I hope not. I hope it doesn't go down that route. Um, You know, I just... She has kids. Uh, I hope the best for her and, you know, being able to be in her kids' lives and be a positive person in her kids' and family's lives. Um, I just hope she doesn't have to ever go down that route again. Uh, Yeah, I do too. Because it's sad. I want the best for anybody. But Mm -hmm. you better believe I was definitely chuckling, laughing when I seen a bald Britney Spears, you know. (laughs) So just, uh, Britney, get your license, like the cop said, all right? Get your license, carry it in your car. I mean, shoot, if if you have a habit of not carrying your license, why don't you just stick it in, like, the glove box, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just put it in the glove box and you never not have it. Yeah, that's true. If she doesn't have a license, that cop is taking care of her, like hooking her up. He let her go twice. And my big question with this is like on the legal side of things, why does a cop – why is a cop so lenient towards Hollywood stars? Is it because they are a star and they're like starstruck or is it because they know, hey, this person's a millionaire. So me writing this ticket is going to end up costing the court more money than they're going to make because we know they're going to get out of it because they have great attorneys and at a regular traffic court or basic criminal court, uh, any good attorney would be able to shred anything. You know, I I'm curious. I, I, it made me wonder that when I was watching it, you know, all jokes aside. Yeah. I don't know, but. I mean, we see it over and over. Yeah, I so. mean, I, I just got pulled over the other day, and the cop was like, oh, my God, you're Brendan from Thought Riot. Make sure <laughs> you have your license and drive slower. You know, it just happened to me. So popular. Yep. And just so, can't keep him off me. Such a star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know why you think she's just getting off left and right. Is I it mean, because of potential attorneys or because she's Britney B? T- Britney B? <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to cuss. We don't cuss on this show. I we know. are we are family friendly, okay? 